That's a great question about the balance between zinc and copper. You're right, if you use high dose zinc for a long period of time, like I do, you want to also use a small amount of copper. In my case, I maybe just use one milligram of copper that comes in my bone formula. Zinc and copper, they have a certain ratio. We only need a tiny amount of copper, perhaps one milligram, maybe at the most two, to balance off 30, 40, whatever level of higher zinc we're taking. I am very careful to get my copper in a multi-mineral formula, not a multivitamin formula. If you mix copper with the vitamins, it's going to damage the antioxidants. So I always separate the copper from the antioxidants and the vitamins. You can take your multi-mineral and your multivitamin, which also might have some minerals in it, but not copper. You can take those at the same time of day. It's just in the manufacturing. You don't want the copper mixed up with the antioxidants. If you like what I have to teach, you can subscribe right here. We have plenty of ways we can help you.